Hey everyone, on today's video, we're going to be showing you how to play Steam games on your Apple TV by using a free app called Steam Link. Let's jump in. First things first is we wanna to go to the App Store on your Apple TV and we need to actually download the app Steam Link. So if you go to search and you start typing for Steam, um, so using the controller, I just put ST. It should pop up as one of your first options. If you notice here, mine's in the bottom right. Go to Steam Link, and then you're gonna choose the install button. So it's right behind me that you can't really see. I have it installed on my iPhone or an iPad. If you have it on other devices, it probably shows the cloud icon to download. Otherwise, you need to just choose the Get option. Once it's finished downloading, choose Open, and it's gonna launch into Steam Link. So what you're gonna see first is it would like to use Bluetooth. So you have to allow that, and then let's choose Getting Started. And it takes us to a pair controller screen. If you haven't already, watch the video on how I pair the controller to the Apple TV. I'm gonna leave a link above or down below in the description. Go watch that. If not, it, what you'll notice here is on the pair other controllers, it just tells you to re refer to the instructions. So if you've already seen the video, you probably already have it paired. Um, or if you know how to, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, we're gonna go on down to skip. We're just gonna say continue. What you'll see here is an actual desktop that is running Steam. If you have a laptop, desktop, whatever, to use Steam Link, you do have to have Steam running on another computer. So think of the Apple TV as just your way to show it on as the projector, right? But the back end still has to actually be running Steam. So select the desktop that you want to use or whatever computer. And now we're going to have to put that pin in on the actual desktop to continue back to your actual computer that's running Steam, it will give you a pop-up that says to authorize the device. So if you actually key in that code now and click OK, it should let you proceed. Now that the device is actually paired over on the actual PC, what you should see is a section where it's trying to connect now to the computer. Now that it's fully connected, what you'll see are three things. Number one, the computer that you're connecting to. Number two, the controller that you will be using, hopefully that it's now paired. And then thirdly and down at the bottom is the connection strength. If you still don't have a controller, like I mentioned earlier, go watch that video. It will show you how to do that full pairing thing on the Apple TV. Once it's paired and powered on, it automatically recognizes it. One of the other things though, before we dive in, what you'll want to see is the settings. You can go over to the streaming settings and you can adjust the quality so that way you make sure that you get the best speed and um, picture coming through to your screen. For example, if you don't have the fastest connection or fastest internet and all, if you probably don't want to be running the beautiful on the video. If you run beautiful, it's going to lag. If you go over to fast, which I'll leave here for example, it should run a little smoother on the actual connection. Now that all that's done, you can choose start playing. And just so you note, you can actually use the controller at this point. As long as it's connected, it does work. You don't have to be using the Apple TV remote any longer. Once it actually launches, you will see your Steam library. And what you'll see here are the games that actually have controller support. So if I go over to Brawlhalla, what you'll see here is the actual controller icon and a green check mark, meaning that these games should be controller enabled and work. What you will notice if I go up to, for example, um, games, or let me see, where's it at? Resume. Last Haven is one that I've been doing a series on. If you notice, it has a keyboard. So that's why it won't show under down in the game section for this um, launch when we're using the controller because it does require an actual keyboard. So if you have a wireless keyboard that's running to the computer, it would technically work. But the whole design of this to be running through your Apple TV using a controller, I would not recommend doing that game. Another thing to know is not every game really works well for this. Stranded Deep, for example, has a controller icon saying that it will work. But I can tell you, like when I launched it, it doesn't really work well with a controller. It still needs a mouse to really look around. So you can barely use something like this with um, the control up at the top to, to you know, mouse around and see things. Um, but it's not one that I would recommend playing over Steam Link on your Apple TV. Something like Brawlhalla, though, for example, if I go here and I go to play, it actually really plays without issue. It plays like it should. Um, and everything loads in like normal. So when you launch into the game, it brings it up on the screen just as if you were sitting at your computer and everything plays Welcome just like it would. So I can go down here to offline play. I can go over to training. Um, I can pick a player and really I'm controlling everything just right here on the screen um, with my controller. And it lets me jump right in. So now that we're here in the game, what you'll see here is I can jump, play around, do everything just like I normally would. 
as if I was playing with a controller on the actual computer, even though it's fully running through the Apple TV. Everything you see here is actually running through the Apple TV. And so that's it. I mean, realistically, everything you have to do is done. You just pair the controller to it, make sure you install the Steam Link on your Apple TV, and then you should be able to link directly into your Steam library and play the games, making sure it's a game that is supported and works well with the controllers. If you have any other questions though, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them if I can. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, that way you will see any fresh new content that we're putting out here on the channel. So all the new videos coming soon. Thanks so much for sticking around and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one guys.